Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. I didn't ask her to come... I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and... Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You... you're where? On top of the building. <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. What were you after uh, on, on your mission? Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them... hope. Yeah, well... I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you. 
what the others said. I really did have a good plan. Uh, a solid plan. We could really activate this transmitter. Yeah? How? The army used to control that tower. I have a transmitter here that can tap into their signal and take over their broadcast. So all we'd have to do is activate the sector antenna. <laughs> the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch and that's it. It worked. Great. Now listen. Uh, been thinking. Radio New Hope is still an option. But it's your choice. Juan gets what he wants and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia the truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. Uh, don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. What? Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank? You handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk. I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden. And I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Where did that come from? You owe me one. Soles of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. Um, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry. I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. Shut <laughs> up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster. But the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. 
They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden. My soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... Look. So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers? Now. Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? The one. Uh, you said... Ah, uh, oh, shit. <clears throat> Uh, Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> well, can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Cause you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The wand? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. What are you waiting for, Gajo? Want me to kick your ass up there? <laughs> Just go, Aiden. You owe me, remember? <laughs> I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's gotten you so spooked? Cool. 
wall. Hm. Wonder if it works. Our mixtape. Hm. This is I'm not like the little one I know. Guy's boots? Hmm, it's a cozy place. Wow, Luan. Who would have thought? Did you find them yet? I'm sorry, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope, you're not looking hard enough. There's another room, behind the plywood. Luan? <laughs> you look almost... almost happy. <clears throat> Pretty cozy nest. You shared it with someone. Does he still live here, or...? Nobody lives there. Just find the fucking shoes and stop asking dumb questions. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Cause that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. fortune in these bottles. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hack on. Oh, you bastard. 
Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! You there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. I miss most about the world before the epidemic. Adrenaline. How you doing, buddy? Oh, it's on now. Proud to sell that to you. Those will come in handy. Best in the city. Later. Is there anything more precious than knowledge for our kid? Is... Hey, has someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It used to belong to the peacekeepers, but now it's empty. Well, it was empty. When I went to see it, infected were all over the place. Well, let's say I get rid of the infected for you. But you do that. I'll pay you. Sure thing. But where can I find you afterwards? I'll go to the canteen. But any place is better than my hellhole of a home and my demon son. son do this to his mother. I'm at the mercy of strangers. This is not how I imagined things would be at my age. I lived only for him, and this is how he pays me back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Pops. Today I was pulling civilians out of that dark zone I told you about. With Killian. It was my first dark zone ever. It wasn't that bad. Except for just this one thing. We saved a mother and her children who got trapped in there, and... I have no idea what got into me. But I wanted to go deeper. I wanted to keep going. Find one more family. One more child. Make sure no one was left behind. I had to make sure. Killian tried to tell me we'd cleared the dark zone. For some reason, I, I didn't believe him. We argued. In the middle of it all, a fucking viral jumped on my back. I, I thought I was... I'm alive only because of Killian. I wish I could talk to you about this. sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to. Don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? <laughs> <laughs> 